So if you see question number six in your leaderboard, a 75 year old woman presents to the accident and emergency. Age is a positive point, right? 75 year old woman. She presented with complaining of pain in her knees. She mentions that this has been troubling her for several months. Pain is generally worse in the evening and after walking. On examination, there are palpable bony swelling on the distal interphalangeal joints. Right, palpable bony swellings on the distal interphalangeal joints of the fingers on both the hands. In addition, there is reduced range of movements and crepitus in the knees. What is the most likely diagnosis in this patient? The options are rheumatoid arthritis, osteoarthritis, reactive arthritis, polymyalgia rheumatica, gouty arthritis. The answer in this particular question is the osteoarthritis, right? Why it is osteoarthritis and all we will discuss. So positive points are 75 year old women, pain in the knees, the pain is more or worse in the evening and after walking and DIPs are involved and there is also presence of nodes within the hands, reduced range of movements, crepitus in the knees. These are the positive points. So these are the points totally in favor of your osteoarthritis. And among all the arthritis like what we have, osteoarthritis is the most common type of arthritis. And this osteoarthritis, it is a non-inflammatory arthritis. Alright, next. Now, this osteoarthritis, it is increasingly common with the age of the individual. Our patient has an age of 75 years. It is increasingly common with age and most people over the age of 60 will have some evidence of disease of osteoarthritis on the x-ray. And it is important to note that osteoarthritis occurs as a result of the complex pathological process. And this osteoarthritis, it may be localized to one particular joint or generalized with pain characteristically worse in the evening. So in osteoarthritis, the pain is worse in the evening. And what is this localized osteoarthritis? See, localized osteoarthritis, they include nodal osteoarthritis. Right, they include nodal osteoarthritis which usually involves the distal interphalangeal joints. However, in osteoarthritis, the proximal interphalangeal joints are also involved. But distal interphalangeal joint involvement is more common compared to that of proximal interphalangeal joints in osteoarthritis. And with time, the hands become stiff and painful and painless bony swellings will develop. And what are these painless bony swellings? And these particular painless bony swellings, they include Heberden nodes. And where are these Heberden nodes? Over the distal interphalangeal joints. And there can be also Boucher's nodes on the PAP. So, these are the nodes like you will see in the nodal arthritis in or in patients with the osteoarthritis. And bony swelling of the first carpometacarpal joint may result in a squared hand appearance in nodal osteoarthritis. So, in nodal osteoarthritis, there can be involvement of your first carpometacarpal joint involvement. And because of the involvement of the first carpometacarpal joint involvement, this may result in squared hand appearance. Right? This may result in squared hand appearance in nodal osteoarthritis. And this localized osteoarthritis may also affect the weight bearing joints. Now, what are those weight bearing joints? Those weight bearing joints include hips and as well as knees. Whereas you take in case of generalized osteoarthritis, generalized osteoarthritis may include the features of nodal disease and they will also have widespread joint involvement. 
like involvement of distal interphalangeal joints, first metatarsophalangeal joints, knees, hips, that is what is your generalized osteoarthritis where all or majority of the joints are involved. Whereas in nodal osteoarthritis, the joint involvement is localized to one particular joint and increased pain in the evenings, nodal disease and knee involvement points to osteoarthritis in our patient. Why not rheumatoid arthritis? Rheumatoid arthritis is worse in the mornings and distal interphalangeal joints are usually spared at the disease onset and thereby your rheumatoid arthritis is not the correct answer. Why not reactive arthritis? Reactive arthritis does not involve the hands, does not cause the nodal disease. The reactive arthritis mainly involves the joints of the lower limb. So that is the reason why your reactive arthritis is ruled out. Then, why not polymyalgia rheumatica? Polymyalgia rheumatica is wrong as this does not usually involves the hands or knees. What is involvement in polymyalgia rheumatica? In polymyalgia rheumatica, there will be stiffness of your shoulder girdle and as well as the hip girdle. That is the ideal feature in patients with the polymyalgia rheumatica and thereby your polymyalgia rheumatica is also not the answer in this patient. Then you take this gout. Gout normally presents as an acute monoarthritis, right? And the joint which is being affected is first metatarsophalangeal joint. That is what will happen in patients with the gout. So in this patient, the all the features they are in favor of your osteoarthritis.